Hello, welcome to Brockwell Lane. And here we have a bit of an impulse buy, I must admit, uh, being O gauge, which is not something I usually model in, being N gauge and 009 and 00 already. Um, but I couldn't resist this really. Um, you may have seen these, um, Daypol or Dapol, don't know which the correct pronunciation is, um, have uh, started doing. Not recently, I'm a bit late into taxi, but O gauge ready to run. Uh, and this is a wagon which I picked up today at uh, Derby Model Railway exhibition uh, for £40, uh, which I think is quite reasonable um, when it comes to O gauge um, wagons because uh, the Parkside Dundas and Slater's kits, which are very good and I have had them in the past, are very close to the same price to be honest and this is uh, ready built up so let's have a look inside the packaging is very sturdy um, like some of the stronger uh, double O gauge um, locomotive um, and wagons well locomotives really the wagons aren't this well uh, well boxed uh, this is a bit like the um, Helgen uh, packaging for their locomotives and uh, the usual ice cube packaging inside. Let's get this out. See I've gone for uh, a BR liveried uh, five plank wagon. It's actually a high bar. It's got a bar on the top uh, which they used to put a tarpaulin on to cover up the goods. So uh, the usual packaging here like you'd see in other gauges. Now let's get that out of the way. The detail on this and the rivets is fantastic. It's kinda weighty. It's plastic, I think it's all plastic. Well the wheels are metal of course. This is that might be a die cast base on it, yes I think it is. Uh, it's got metal three link couplings, buffers, metal buffers, sprung as well. I think the couplers are also, yeah, they're sprung as well. Um, there's the bar on the top which moves up and down. Put the top pulling on. Now I'm not an expert on wagons, but that looks really very good to me. I'm not so sure about the paint scheme. It looks a little bit wishy-washy livery to me. I think bauxite should be a little bit darker than that. And it's salmon pink inside. But it's a good basis, because I'm going to weather this. i give this a good rusty look. Um, which is the main reason why I bought it really, because I think I really enjoy doing that sort of thing. Uh, to be a good one to show you before and after. Um, this is, um, oh that's plastic obviously. It's a little bit flimsy. Remember not to pick it up by that. Sometimes uh, companies make uh, bars and things out of flimsy material because they're less likely to snap, but I don't know. I have to be careful with that. That could be replaced by a piece of brass wire, I suppose. That uh, moves up and down like that. Nice free running wheels. So, yeah, I think that's going to make a, a really nice looking model when I've weathered it. So, uh, I'll show you that in a bit. And here's something that caught my attention uh, there's a limited edition of a Backman double O gauge class 37 coming out um, which is with the Michelover uh, model railway group which is the people who run the Derby model railway exhibition um, which is going to be Dunrobin Castle 37114 and you might remember uh, that's the model I've, uh, I've managed to do in N gauge for my N gauge layout where I renumbered um, a Graham Farish one it's always been a favourite of mine uh, I've done it in double O as, as well in the past, but uh, this uh, I won't have to do it again because uh, there's this limited edition coming out. 
So I just thought, and it was only announced this weekend, so I thought I'd let you know about that. Um, if you want to order one, I think you have to order one from Michelover Model Railway Group, but if you go on the, if you Google that, uh, you should find um, ways of ordering it. Uh, I picked up this leaflet. Um, if you can read that, um, that's uh, another way of uh, putting your name on the list for one. Uh, but that should be a really nice model, and I think will probably sell out pretty quick because um, it's always been a popular locomotive in the 1980s uh, Scottish Inverness Highland Rail livery. Uh, it's coming with um, etched plates, I believe, and all the usual um, details. It's going to have the correct uh, plated over, uh, not plated over doors. It's got. Um, Split head curves, gangway doors, and then the lamp on the front in a different place with so the usual moulding. So that's going to be a really nice model. So check that out. And I'll see you next time uh, when I will have weathered that uh, O-Gage wagon. And I'll show you the results of that. So uh, please uh, comment below, subscribe, share, whatever you like. And I shall see you probably next weekend when I've completed that wagon. Thank you. Bye-bye.